Well, Fort R is, uh, is an event that I started about three years ago. So this is a third year for it. And basically it's art in, encased in a 300 pound block of ice. So uh, this piece of art was done by one of our artists, Lori Calais, and we sent it off to Ice Culture in Hensel, Ontario, and it came back in a 300 pound block of ice. And we sit it on a, on a base and we light it up so it glows at night. I am in love with um, dragonflies. So I figured, well, the dragonfly is flying in the distance. So basically it's sort of, it's sort of very impressionist. It's not really anything realistic looking, but um, it's very bright and brilliant. In the past I worked in animation, so I did a lot of drawing, and now I'm, most, I'm working on watercolors mostly. Uh, I do oil painting as well, but I don't have any here in the gallery. Um, horses and animals are what I tend to do, or, or indoor scenes, um, doing a lot of different things at the moment. Uh, my ice block is a cat and bird at the window, which is um, ex an extension of what I've been doing recently. So it's a, um, and it's on William Street. Well, the idea behind this is to have a piece of art that can go outside that is relatively tough, that won't get damaged by people, uh, won't get vandalized, but also could be there for people to enjoy in the evening uh, as they take their walk in February or, or Janu late January. So um, that, that's what we do. We take a piece of uh, plastic and we paint on it and we ship it off and it comes back in this 300 pound block of ice. It's a special ice that takes four days to make. Being that, um, you know, you're downtown Kingston, it's all about the scenery downtown Kingston, I find. So now that we have our art in ice blocks, they can see it during those times downtown. And I feel it's uh, unique uh, that you can just mm -hmm. go downtown because downtown is so beautiful and then you're going to bring ice blocks with our art in it I just I can't believe this is this is phenomenal I, I, I I'm so glad to be part of it you know what I mean the other thing that's unique about this is it gives people something to do in the winter because usually everything is inside but it, it encourages people to get out and get active in the winter and on their walks that they do they can encounter these take pictures of them admire them because they'll glow they're very attractive at night <laughs>